disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? That's no. Tough. They suck. Versatile. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Caleb Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't. Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Kill them. Oh, my goodness. Did he say they, they cock it on them? I hate the style. Of What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you guys have um, a great day. Probably Cowboy fans will have a much greater day than, say, the Eagle fans. The Eagle fans, well, <laughs> they're losing their minds. You know, I didn't go to bed till about 2 o'clock this morning because I was living off the high of this game. It was so nice to enjoy for once, for once to enjoy a sweet victory over the Eagles. And I think this game meant so much because see, you have to understand, I have taken more caca from the Eagles fan base. Literally, they have been beating me down every day in the offseason. Everything that you could imagine about how we want to be the Eagles, how uh, the Cowboys stink, how we haven't done anything, that they were, you know, they went to the Super Bowl. You haven't done anything in the 2000s. It's 29 years of ill revelance and everything else. Dak Prescott sucks. He's a choker and everything else. And listening to the media, too, listening to those guys that have constantly just pounded. It was just so nice last night to just go to bed and just be like, ah. Because, see, here's the thing that I always say. If you notice on my studio, I usually have the cockroaches, you know, a bunch of these. Actually, somewhere I have a remote, and you put batteries in them, and they'll actually move around. But, see, here's the thing. I am always here. Always here. Win, lose, or draw. It doesn't matter. And I take the crap. I take the crap every time. But when I say cockroaches, you know how cockroaches are. Cockroaches don't want to be seen. They like to come out, do the damage, but then when the lights come on, they scatter, they go back in the walls, and they hide. And that's what, unfortunately, Eagle fans, actually Giants fans were too, because in 2016, when they beat us twice, they were cockroaches because all off season, they ended up coming in and talking bad about the Cowboys. And then once they lost to the Cowboys, we never saw them again. Never saw them again. That's what a cockroach is. Now, there's good Eagle fans. And, and Philly 500, he's a stand-up guy. There's Logan Motorsports. There's Twiz Digga. Uh, there's um, Philadelphia, as annoying as can be um, out there. Um, Linda. Linda is about the most fair and balanced uh, Eagle fan who is rational. I wish all Eagle fans were like Linda. Um, but then there's ones that have been like recent ones like Faded Punch that have been talking, you know, a whole lot of smack recently since the Cowboys lost to the Eagles. I'm betting I don't see you guys. I bet that you guys will not do the walk of shame. See, it's one thing to talk the talk. But as Jimmy Johnson says, you got to walk the walk. Dak Prescott, he put his shit on the line. You know if the Eagles had won, that everybody would be clowning, clowning Dak Prescott about and taking a dump on. You would have seen more poop emojis just raining on Dak Prescott. But you know what? That's the guy who talks the talk. And walks the walk and gives no rat's ass about what you think. And he's a grown ass man. I like to think of myself as a person. When I talk shit, I follow it up. I do what I'm supposed to do. When I say I'm going to do something, I do it. Now, I expect you eagle cockroaches to come in and do the shame. 
to do the walk of shame. You don't have to be in here and, and, and you know, I, listen, just say, hey, all you got to do is say, look, you were a better team last night. Dak Prescott's better than what I thought. Congratulations. I believe that's what I did when the Eagles won. And see, that's what's called being a good sportsman. That is. Sometimes you win and you get to talk to shit. Sometimes I win and I get to talk to shit. But I got to say, I'm enjoying listening to Eagle fans cry and have the realization of actually what I have said actually become true. This is a great feeling. I'm going to enjoy this. I don't know how the whole season will work out. I know the narrative is going to be, well, this game doesn't really matter. The Eagles know all we have to do is win the next four, and we've got it. We got the division. We split the games. This, you know, this didn't matter because we were tired. You had extra. I, you know, the excuses are going to come. The excuses are going to come. But your offense put up six points. Six freaking points. That's it. You guys on the roster going in here believe, hey, we had the better roster. We got all the guys. You guys went out there. You got the Julio Jones. You got the Kevin Bayards. You went out and got the Shaq Leonards. You have gone out there and brought in all these players. And the little old Dallas Cowboys that people say don't care about winning. They don't care about trying to win the Super Bowl. It's all about publicity. We owe the Joneses and Stephen Jones, and Will McClay, and Mike McCarthy, and Dak Prescott an apology because they're playing as good as anybody else. And right now, you look and you see San Francisco, you see Dallas, and then you see everybody else. And I know that's a hard pill to swallow, Eagle fans, after all the crap that you talked, that now the crap is coming home and landing on you. I am going to enjoy this week so much, so much. And um, for those out there that have said Dak Prescott is not the dude, and I know my man Derek has sent me a couple of Marco Polos that I haven't responded to, that I've killed him all day yesterday because I'm sick and tired of people acting like you can just get another quarterback. Bro. Bro, take a look around the NFL. Dak Prescott, 28 TDs, three more than anybody else. Dak Prescott, six interceptions, back in the mid-20s as far as interceptions. Wins, tied there with the Eagles in San Francisco. I want to see what Joy Taylor has to say today because... um. There ain't shit she can say about the Cowboys. There is nothing she can say bad about the Dallas Cowboys. The whole thing of can't beat winning teams, can't be the one saying that he's not leading in any statistical category, can't say that they didn't send a message. I want to see them squirm. I want to see them do the walk of shame. And I am completely enjoying every minute of it. Cry, Eagles cry. And it's so fun to hear them literally say this. I fire Howie. Fucking fire him. Motherfucker! Stupid motherfucker! What an idiot! What an idiot! Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver. Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's ass. He's stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid. What are you doing? You just let Dallas take him. 